Uh, yes, first off, uh, congratulations to our women's volleyball team for winning their seventh conference tournament in eight years. That's awesome. Um, Coach has done a fantastic job with them. I'm really fired up uh, for them, and so congratulations to them. Um, big game this week, obviously, playing for the East. Our guys are really excited, worked really hard to get to this spot, and uh, that's just where you want to be. You know, last game of the regular season, uh, playing uh, for all the marbles to see who's going to represent the East uh, in the conference championship. So really excited for that opportunity and looking forward to it. With that said, questions? You know, going back to your first stint here, uh, back in 14 and 15, Marshall and, and you guys have had some great games. You know, I think of that shootout in 14. What can you say about this rivalry and, and what it means to these two programs and the competitiveness of these games? Well, just two two really good schools, two competitive schools. It, it's it's fun to be in those type of games, and um, you know Marshall does a great job. Their new coach has done a fantastic job, and um, I always say Marshall's Marshall every year. They're just a really good football team every year, and so we're always excited to play them because you know it's going to be a, an exciting game and a competitive game, and. Um, you know, if you ask me, when would you want to play them? Yeah, now now's the time to play them and, and, you know, to get to the last game and, and to have that competitive game and an opportunity to represent the East. But they're a really good football team, well-coached football team. Uh, like I say all the time, it's going to take everything we got, but excited for the opportunity. You know, Marshall, uh, you know, is top in the NCAA in sacks. You know, you have a really good offensive line. Uh, I guess, you know, how much of a factor does that play in the game plan this week? Well, you know, they're a very good pass rush team, and they got athletes all over the field. I can't think of one position, both offensively and defensively, that you don't say, man, that's a really good player out there playing. So they do a great job with their pass rush. Um, our offensive line has done a fantastic job all year in pass protection. So it would be a great matchup. be a great challenge for our offensive line. we got to do a great job protecting Bailey, give him time back there. Uh, if we do that, we'll be in a good good spot. You know, Marshall's rushing attack gets a lot of attention. I guess what's going to take to try to slow that thing down? Well, they do a great job. They're big physical offensive line up front. Um, the running back is spectacular. Uh, I think they got a really good scheme there. You know, we just got to play disciplined football. Uh, we got to rally to the football. Uh, we got to we got to get them down. You know, you, the first tackler is going to get there, and then we got to we got to wrap up and get the next tackler in there. I mean, he's a he's a good running back. So, and you know, he'll he'll make his yards too. But we got to tackle him and we got to get him down. And um, you know, it'll be a big challenge for our defense. But if we play disciplined defense, we'll we'll be fine. You know, you guys haven't lost a game since I think it's UTSA that close game. I mean, when you look at that win streak that you guys have been on, how much? Would you measure your all's maturity, just how much you've grown like, since this win streak started to you guys? Well, I think you know we've learned a lot about ourselves, about our team. I think more than anything, we've drawn closer as a team. And you know, I, I don't think at any point in time, or you know, you, I, I say it over again, we didn't blink. You know, we never blinked. Uh, it just made us stronger, made us come closer together, and believe in each other more. And you know, we knew what we were capable of. And uh, so now we're down the stretch and, and this is a really good opponent to play and, and we got to put it all together. This is the game you got to put it all together. So excited for that opportunity. Coach, do you guys feel any pressure as this is the winner of this game gets to go to the conference championship game, especially in a rivalry game on the road? Uh, you know, to, to me, I try not to look past that. It's just another game. It's another opponent. It's a, a really good opponent to play. Obviously, you know, it's a, it's a big game from a standpoint of, you know, you, whoever wins gets to represent the East. Uh, for me, though, and the team, we just focus on our day-to-day -day job. You know, uh, Monday's a Monday, a Tuesday's a Tuesday, and we get to game time. Once the ball's kicked off, it's just another game. And so we just kind of keep that mentality more than anything. And then uh, that's kind of just how we operate best. Don't, don't look past anything. Don't, don't really talk about the what ifs and all those things. Just go out there and do our job. With Wells, uh, and coming off the freshman year, when you saw him last year at quarterback, I guess how have you seen his game change or develop over the, that fourth of, like, since last year to this year? Really good player, really good player. You know, when we were first going to play him last year, I, I made a comment. I, I think the kid has NFL talent. I really do. And a lot of people kind of took that comment as, you know, 
well, he's, he hasn't really played, you know, but I could tell he was a talented guy right off the bat. Watching him last year, he's grown, he's mature, he's gotten better. Uh, he has full command of the offense. Uh, he has a really good scheme that, that he gets to run. And uh, he has great skill players to throw to. And so, you know, he, he's, a, he's a really good player, one of, the, one of the best quarterbacks in our conference, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, so it's going to be a great challenge for us defensively. And, and we got to be able to get to him. you got to put some pressure on him and be able to cover the receivers and, and do what we do defensively. Uh, you know, just the normal things, you know, just you, you, don't, you don't want them to happen and, and you work on those things every day. And uh, but that's football, you know, and when you throw the ball as much as we do and, and all those kind of things, you're going to have interceptions every now and then. And, you know, we don't like to put the ball on the ground, you know, that we, we need to always our running backs take a lot of pride and in, in try not to, to fumble the ball, you know, the obvious. But uh, you know, those are things in this game that are going to be critical. We can't have the turnovers. During uh, the MTSU game, did you guys just catch like that turnover bug on defense? Or like you guys, you guys just can't help but like get turnovers all over the place, whether it be you know, forced fumbles or interceptions? Like what's really been clicking since that MTSU game? Uh, you know, really just our defensive scheme. You know, we reevaluated the scheme uh, about game five and, and said, okay, well, let's, let's do some things to tweak, you know, our scheme. and put our guys in positions to go make plays. And uh, we started to get some some picks and, and some turnovers here and there. And, you know, Coach Crumb says, hey, they come in bunches, you know, and they've definitely come in bunches for sure. So we need to get a couple this week again. You know, Bailey has been getting a lot of attention this year, Jareth as well, maybe on the national stage, flying under the radar a little bit. I guess it's kind of getting to award season. Um, how deserving are those guys, and what can you say about maybe some people that are overlooking them? Well, I don't mind saying. I mean, Bailey Zappi's the best quarterback in America. You know, now am I biased? Sure, I'm biased, but I get to watch the man every single day. And uh, I like to think I've been around some of the top quarterbacks that are up for those awards, and they're very, you know, deserving of those awards as well. But in the class that you're talking about, Bailey Zappi's the best quarterback in America, and he deserves every award that there is out there, in my opinion, and I don't have a problem saying that, and so does Jarrah Stearns. In my opinion, he's the best receiver in America, and the numbers say that. I think people are taking notice to that, uh, and we have several more games to play, and the, you know, the challenge they have is to continue that conversation with their play. That's the best way to, to win awards is you just keep going out there playing, you do your job, and the awards will come at the, at the end of the season. But, uh, and I could go on and on. I mean, I can talk about Mitchell Tinsley and, and, you know, several other guys, all of our offensive line, you know. Um, but if you just say, hey, the national awards, Belly Zappi's the best quarterback in America. Jarrett Stearns is the most productive receiver in America, hands down. And, you know, kind of sticking with awards, I don't think we've seen you since the Royals nominees. Obviously, Coach Kelly nominee for that, but also uh, former defense coordinator here, Clayton White, who had a lot of success here. What can you say about you know those guys and what they've meant to this program? Yeah, just really proud of them. They've done a fantastic job. Coach White, when he was here, was great. You know, our defense was top 25 defense of the first two years I was here. Uh, I knew he'd go to South Carolina and do a great job there as well. And obviously, Coach Kitley, I mean, his production speaks for itself. And he's very deserving of that. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll look up at the end of the year and he, he wins the Royals Award because I think he's definitely deserving of it. But it's, um, you know, team success equals individual success. It's all about the team first, whether you're a coach or a player. We focus on the team aspect first, and, and if the team does really well, then all the individual success and awards come after that. So that's what you're seeing right now. Now, again, the challenge is I want to I want to play in several more games and keep doing the things we've been doing, and that'll be the challenge for us. You, know, you talked about Jared and Bailey and their connection a little bit. You know, it's the best duo or quarterback wide receiver duo. I think it's where they rank on your list. They're the best. <laughs> They're the best. Uh, I don't think it's even a question. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see at the end of the year what everybody else thinks. But, again, I'm biased. I get to see them every day. But in my mind, they're the best. Coach, you said that you want to play a couple more games with Forrest. How important was that winning streak to getting into now and 
now, then potentially a conference championship game, and then a bowl game, you know, three potential do or die games. Yeah, again, it's what you want to be in. It's what you work hard for and, and have an opportunity to be in these games. And uh, you're just going to have to take it one game at a time. There, there is – there is no more tomorrow if we can't go win this week. So um, we, our number one goal is just Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Let's go out there, play Marshall. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a very hard game to win. They're going to have a great atmosphere. Marshall's not an easy place to play by any means. Uh, so it's going to be a tremendous challenge. But right now, just focus on Marshall and trying to beat Marshall. Speaking of Bailey, I mean, you guys potentially have three games left. No, I'm not a stats guy. I didn't even know that. Um, and, you know, all those things take care of themselves, and that would be awesome if that happens. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it happens for him. Uh, have everybody we need. Uh, there's really no injuries there, uh, so we should be pretty healthy. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks.